there was a campaign right to shut our hospital down. There was a serious campaign which at one thought, oh, I thought might actually succeed. And so what we did is, we live in a democracy, fortunately, so we invoked dem democratic processes. We had what's ca called put an early day motion down. We found a friendly MP who put what's called an early day motion down. This is just a motion which MPs can go and sign. So, and then we got onto our, our supporters and said, tell your MP to sign this early day motion. And it really took off. It got over 200 signatures. And by convention in the UK House of Commons, if you get over 200 signatures, which is basically over a third of MPs have signed this motion, you get uh, a, de a debate, a, what they call a closing debate, a, a debate in the, in the Commons. Now, ours came up on the very night that Northern Rock went down. Northern Rock was this, this bank that went bust in spectacular fashion uh, in the autumn of 2007. So. The, the, this uh, closing debate didn't, get, didn't happen until 2 in the morning, but the minister had to stay up. The minister has to stay up and answer questions. So he certainly remembered that night. But it was, it was very important, because what it showed, I think, is to the opponents, is that actually there is strong political support. Politically, you cannot do this. You know, if you've got 200 MPs signing a motion, or, and, and a debate in the, in the Commons, you know, it is clear, it was very clear, I think, came through very clearly to the Secretary of State, look, this is a tiny investment. People love it for this tiny, you know, squillionth of 1% of the NHS budget. You're getting all this, you know, support. Then, you know, clearly this is not politically doable. But you have to be, you know, careful and, and reasonable and choose your grounds carefully. And one of the, I mean, the, thing, the area that we're working on, the, moment, the, the area that we think is, is very fertile, is the area of polypharmacy and multimorbidity. Polypharmacy meaning multiple drugs, usually defined as more than five drugs at once. Multimorbidity meaning multiple illnesses. And of course, the two are closely correlated. You've got multiple illnesses, you tend to get lots of drugs. And it is a pandemic. I, mean, I won't quote the numbers here, but there's, you know, terrifying numbers. And it is doing more harm than good. There's no doubt that a lot of damage is being done by polypharmacy. And very little attention is given to, to alternatives. And we have good evidence in homeopathy that homeopathy reduces antibiotic consumption, um, for instance, for upper respiratory tracts in, tract infections in children, a major source of, of overprescription of antibiotics. There it does, people may argue on whether it's the specific effect of homeopathy or going to a homeopath who says, well, you know, let's wait a little bit. Whatever it is, it has a big effect. So, you know, this is just one area where, which is a big area of concern. Antibiotic resistance is becoming a big problem. And we shouldn't knock antibiotics. They're wonderful drugs when correctly used. The problem is they're very often not correctly used.